Now, you have had an amazing film career, Academy Award nominations, and just great roles. What factors in your childhood do you think inspired you to be an actress? I was a really, really big reader. My mother brought us to the library every week. They introduced me to all kinds of books when I was a kid, and and because I moved, you know, it was the thing that sort of kept me company most often. So even now, when I look for a project to do, I'm, I look at the script, you know, I'm like, well, what's in the story? What's going on in the story? Um, and then that's kind of what intrigues me. But it literally is like being inside a book. Do you have a favorite book or author? Probably Little Women. It was a book that I read again and again and again. And so much about female self-determinism and really about making a choice with your life. Who are you going to be? What are you going to do? Are you going to be good or bad? Or, you know, what can you achieve? And, and you know, all of that's kind of in that book. You played a woman who's going to have children in a movie. Uh-huh. And now you have children. What were you most nervous about, about becoming a mother? Oh, gosh. That I wouldn't know what to do, you know? It happens very slowly. That's that's the great gift that you get that you're when you're given a newborn that doesn't do a whole lot. So you don't, you know, you kind of have to learn what's right in front of you. And that's the great thing about parenthood is that they don't sit up right away and say, "Oh my gosh, mom, I have so much homework and I need to go to basketball and then you have to fill out this application for me." You know, that doesn't happen at birth. Yeah. Now that you are a mother and you have to balance work, motherhood, life in New York City, what would you say has been the most difficult part of that? I mean, it's what everybody says. You do feel like you're torn in a million different directions. But I always do say that to everyone that it is a great problem to have. I'm so fortunate, mm -hmm. you know, to have my really beautiful family, and I really like the work that I do. But it does help to have friends who are in the same situation. And I think the more you know that it's something that everyone's dealing with, and they're all dealing with it out of choice, too. You know, we want this. Um, the easier it, it becomes for you. So you played in Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. So now, what was that like, working on a film with all this amazing special effects? Do your kids watch that with you? And They have never yeah. seen it. Oh, why is that? Yeah, they just don't have, they don't have a whole lot of interest in me as an, as an actor. But, you know, you, it's funny, that's a question that you get a lot about special effects, and I always point out to people that, you know, we're always pretending. So for us, the fact that we're pretending with a big machine or a giant monster isn't terribly different than pretending that we're in a somebody's living room in the 1970s or whatever. I mean, there's always an element of pretend to right. it. Let me ask you, how do you describe mm -hmm. your personal style? I don't know. Style yeah. is hard. Yeah. I always feel like I'm one of those people who's better with interiors. I, I sort of like to do a room more than I like to like do my own body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, there are definitely things that I like. I, I can't wear a lot of pat. I think it has to do with being a redhead. I don't like to wear a lot of pattern. Sometimes when I've deviated from what, you know what I like, I'm like, wow, that was a mistake. What, what was yeah. I doing with that, you know, big flowered blouse on or something? <laughs> so so decorating your home, mm -hmm. that's more of a self-expression for you. I love it. It's something that takes you a long time to like think about which desk you're going to buy and like put it there and you know paint your house and all all of that. I mean, so that I think it takes up more time. It's slower. Um, and I like that. I should point out that you were my former landlord. That's right. I was your landlord, and you were a very good tenant. I was, wasn't yes. I? Did I complain about anything? <laughs> Never. All right, Never. Not good. even when I asked you to leave when I was going <laughs> to renovate this. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> the room that I moved out of, my yep. old apartment, mm -hmm. what have you done with it? Where your living room was is now my office. Mm -hmm. Where your bedroom was is now our living room. So we sort of moved everything, you know, moved everything around. Did you around. keep anything from my era? Yeah, oh, the floors. Okay. All the floors are beautiful. still there. Yeah. yeah, the shutters are still there. I mean, we kept everything that was original Picture about of me the house. That I left in That's the room. well, there was, there is that in the hallway. Yeah, as you come in. <laughs> uh, it is a beautiful apartment, oh, and yeah. uh, I'm sure your family is very happy there. Thank you. So congratulations on the book. And thank you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, today. so nice talking to you. Great.